write the range of the real function f of x is equal to mod x since we know that modulus function mod x is equal to so it is plus x we can if it is greater than or equals to 0 and it is minus x when x is less than 0 by the definition by the definition of modulus of x and clearly we can say that mod x is always greater than or equals to 0 for any real number so the domain of the function mod x is all real numbers for every real number mod x is always greater than or equals to 0 so that is f of x is greater than or equals to 0 so therefore the range of the function range of f is taken as 0 to infinity so closed including 0 so we will just close the bracket 0 to infinity okay thank you if f is a real function satisfying f of x plus 1 upon x is equal to x square plus 1 upon x square for all x belongs to r minus 0 means except 0 all real numbers we can consider and so this function f of y x plus 1 upon x can also be written as y x plus 1 upon x whole square minus 2 into x into 1 upon x since we know that a square plus b square is equal to we can write it as a plus b whole square minus 2ab so which equals to x plus 1 upon x whole square minus 2 so f of x plus 1 upon x is equal to x plus 1 upon x whole square minus 2 so which also implies that f of if I can replace x plus 1 upon x as y so let us write x plus 1 upon x is equal to some y so f of y is equal to y square minus 2 and let us define for x belongs to r minus 0 what happens to y so since for x is positive for x is positive we can say x plus 1 upon x is always greater than or equals to 2 and for x is less than 0 we can say that x plus 1 upon x is always less than or equals to minus 2 so finally we can just conclude that your y is greater than or equals to 2 or y is less than or equals to minus 2 so that is mod y is greater than or equals to 2 we can write so f of y is equal to y square minus 2 so for mod y is greater than or equals to 2 and this can also be written by changing the variable f of x is equal to x square minus 2 because he is asking then write the expression for f of x so just replace in place of y as x just changing the variable f of x is equal to x square minus 2 so for mod x is greater than or equals to 2 so the answer is f of x is equal to x square minus 2 for where mod x is greater than or equals to 2 okay right thank you write the range of the real function f of x is equal to sine of step x it's a greatest integer function where x lies between minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 so let us study about this uh, step function between minus pi by 4 to plus pi by 4 for 0 less than or equals to x less than pi by 4 so we can consider the step x value is equal to 0 since pi by 4 value is approximately we can consider 3.14 upon 4 which is equal to 0 0.78 so which is less than 1 if it is less than 1 we can say step x value is equal to 0 since for 0 less than x less than 0 less than or equals to x less than 1 step x value is equal to 1 and for minus pi by 4 less than or equals to x less than 0 so we can consider step x value is equal to negative 1 since for x lies between minus 1 including minus 1 and 0 so step x value is equal to minus 1 
sorry here it is step x is equal to 0 so step x is equal to 0 and here it is step x is equal to minus 1 so that so f of x is equal to sine of step x is equal to so we will get sine 0 when it is lying between 0 to pi by 4 and we can consider sine of minus 1 for sine of minus 1 for minus pi by 4 to 0 including minus pi by 4 here so which equals to sine 0 is we can write 0 and sine of minus 1 we can write minus sine 1 for the two different values 0 to pi by 4 and minus pi by 4 to 0 so that we can say we can define the range of the given function hence range of the function f of x f can be taken as sin 0 0 and and minus sin 1 so this is the answer okay thank you if f of x is equal to cos step of pi square x plus cos of step of minus pi square into x where step this is denotes the greatest integer function which is less than or equals to x then the value of f of pi since pi approximately we can consider 3.14 and pi square value can be taken approximately so square of this will you may get approximately 9.86 so from this we can write step of pi square is equal to step of 9.86 so the greatest integer function of 9.86 we can write 9 because less than 9.86 9 is the greatest integer and step of minus pi square so we can write step of minus 9.86 which equals to minus 10 because minus 10 is the greatest integer which is less than minus 9.86 so our function f of x can be taken as cos of step of pi square we can write it as a 9 times x plus cos of step of minus pi square we can write minus 10 times x so which is equal to cos 9x cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta so because in the fourth quadrant it is positive so cos of minus 10x we can add cos 10x and f of pi is equal to cos 9 pi plus cos 10 pi so cos 9 pi we can write it as 8 pi plus pi and cos 10 pi is nothing but cos 2 times of uh, 5 pi 2 times of pi pi or 2 pi into 5 can it better 5 times of 2 pi let us write 5 times of 2 pi since we know that cos 2n pi plus theta will be same as cos theta because it repeats after every multiples of 2 pi and also cos 8 pi cos 2n pi plus theta is equal to cos theta so let us use this and when and hence we can write here cos 8 pi plus pi is nothing but cos pi plus cos 5 times of 2 pi is nothing but we can add cos 0 so cos pi value is minus 1 and cos 0 is 1 so minus 1 plus 1 you get the answer 0 so the value of f of pi is 0 okay thank you write the range of the function f of x is equal to cos of step x where this step function denotes the greatest integer or less than or equals to x and x lies between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 and since we know the approximate value of pi can be taken 3.14 so pi by 2 can be taken minus 1.57 we can take approximately so x lies between 
minus 1.57 to plus 1.57 approximate value so let us check the step value the greatest integer of x value between these two values so let's take the number line let's mark these points so minus 1.57 that is minus pi by 2 and let us say here minus 1 say this is 0 say this is 1 and say here 1.57 that is pi by 2 so in between these values a step value behaves like from 0 to 1 for x lies between 0 and 1 including 0 step x can be taken as 0 and for 1 less than or equals to x less than is pi by 2 so step x value will be equals to 1 and for x lies between minus 1 to 0 so step x value we can consider is minus 1 and for minus pi by 2 less than or equals to minus less than minus 1 so step x value will be equals to minus 2 so based on this information so the given function f of x is equal to cos of step x so we can write in the four intervals like cos of minus 2 so cos of minus 2 which is nothing but cos 2 for the interval minus pi by 2 to minus 1 that's minus pi by 2 is less than or equals to x less than minus 1 and the next interval cos of minus 1 cos of minus 1 is equal to cos 1 since we know cos of negative minus theta is equal to cos theta so for minus 1 is less than or equals to x less than 0 and in the third interval we can see from 0 to 1 cos of step of x is 0 cos 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 for 0 less than or equal to x less than 1 and the next case we can see cos of step of step of x is equal to 1 cos of 1 which is equal to cos 1 we can consider so for 1 less than or equal to x less than 5 by 2 so it been divided into four parts so we are getting cos 2 cos 1 1 cos 1 and hence we can just conclude that the range range of the given function f can be taken as 1 cos 1 and cos 2 so this is the answer okay thank you write the range of the function f of x is equal to e to the power of x minus step x the greatest integer function which is less than or equals to x where x belongs to any real number and since we know that for any integer for any integer x we have x minus step x always will be equal to zero because x value integer value minus step x is also they will be getting the same value so zero and for any non-integer for any non-integer x we will have x minus step x will be always lying between including zero and less than one for an example if x is equal to if x is equal to 6.96 if we consider then it's a step x value will be equal to the greatest integer which is less than 6.96 is 6 so x minus step x will get x minus step x is equal to 6.96 minus 6 will get 0 0.96 it is a fraction and also if we consider the negative number if x is equal to minus 6.96 then it's a step value the greatest integer which is less than minus 6.96 is minus 7 so x minus step x we can consider that is minus 6.96 plus 7 
right so 7 minus 0 6.96 will get 0 0.04 so in either way you, you will get only the decimal numbers which is less than which is lies between 0 to 1 we can say for integers it is equal to 0 and for non integer it is always lies between 0 and 1 so we can just consider for any real number x belongs to r so we can just conclude that x minus step x will belongs to 0 to 1 so including 0 and open interval 1 so that e to the power of e to the power of x minus step x let me write it one more so which implies that x minus step x is lying between including 0 and 1 or if we take exponential e to the power of x minus step x and since we know that e value is approximately equals to 2 point, 2 point 7, it's more than 1 so e power x minus step x will lies between e to the power of 0 and e to the power of 1 e power 0 is 1 1 less than or equals to e power x minus step x that is f of x so we can write this as f of x is less than e power 1 is e so which implies that the range of the function the range of f can be taken as 1 to e so open interval 1 and closed interval sorry open and in, closed interval 1 and open interval e okay this is the answer right thank you let f of x is equal to alpha x upon x plus 1 where x is not equals to minus 1 then write the value of alpha satisfying f of f of x is equal to x for all x not equals to minus 1 so let us find first f of f of x which equals to f of alpha x upon x plus 1 which equals to alpha times of alpha x upon x plus 1 divided by alpha x upon x plus 1 plus 1 so which equals to alpha square x upon x plus 1 upon alpha x plus x plus 1 upon x plus 1 so we can cancel the denominator of both numerator and denominator respectively so that so we're getting f of f of x is equal to alpha square x upon x times of alpha plus 1 plus 1 and it is given that it is satisfying f of f of x is equal to x so that we can consider alpha square x upon x times of alpha plus 1 plus 1 is equal to x or on cross multiplication you will get x square of alpha plus 1 plus x is x you will be getting so we can also write x square of alpha plus 1 plus of x of alpha 1 minus alpha square we can bring which equals to 0 so from here since it is satisfying f of f of x is equal to x and we need the value of alpha so they, for every value of x it should be an identity so let us consider <coughs> the coefficient of x square must be equal to 0 and the coefficient of x must be equal to 0 so let's find the values of x for which sorry for the values of alpha for which the coefficient of x square is 0 that is alpha plus 1 equals to 0 and 1 minus alpha square is equal to 0 for alpha is equal to minus 1 it also satisfies 1 minus alpha square which is equal to is equal to 0 so we can just consider alpha is equal to minus 1 alpha is equal to minus 1 will satisfy and this inequality also will hold and hence we can just conclude that the value of alpha which satisfies the given condition is minus 1 okay thank you if f of x is equal to given 1 minus 1 upon x so let's consider x not equals to 0 then write the value of f of f of 1 upon x so f of 1 upon x is equal to for x not equals to 0 so 1 minus 1 upon 1 upon x that equals to 1 minus x so again f of f of 1 upon x is equal to so that is f of 1 minus x which equals to 1 minus 1 upon 
1 minus x since f of x is equal to 1 minus 1 upon x for x not equals to 0 so which equals to taking in say 1 minus x minus 1 upon 1 minus x therefore f of f of 1 upon x is equal to 1 minus it's a minus x upon 1 minus x or we can add x upon x minus 1 that is the answer okay thank you write the domain and range of the function f of x is equal to x minus 2 upon 2 minus x and clearly we can say that domain of the function domain of the function f is x should not be equal to 2 that is r minus 2 since the denominator we can see here 2 minus x should not be equal to 0 that is x should not be equal to 2 and now for any real number for any x belongs to r minus 2 so f of x is equal to x minus 2 upon 2 minus x we can also write this x minus 2 upon minus of x minus 2 so which equals to minus 1 for x not equals to 2 and hence we can say the range is the range of f is always will be getting minus 1 so range of the given function is minus 1 and the domain of the function is all real numbers except 2 okay thank you if f of x is equal to 4x minus x square where x belongs to our real numbers then write the value of f of a plus 1 minus f of a minus 1 so what is f of a plus 1 so 4 times of a plus 1 minus of a plus 1 whole square and f of a minus 1 equals to 4 times of a minus 1 minus a minus 1 whole square let's simplify this here 4a plus 4 minus of a plus 1 whole square we can get a square minus 2a minus 1 and here we can get 4 times 4a minus 4 minus of a square and here minus 2a means plus 2a will get and again plus 1 minus 1 will get so then if i do subtraction f of a plus 1 minus f of a minus 1 which equals to 4 and 4a cancel 4 minus of that is 8 and a is minus a square minus of minus plus a square it get cancelled and again so minus 2a minus 2a that's a minus 4a and minus of minus plus 1 gets cancelled so 8 minus 4a or we can write 4 common 2 minus a so f of a plus 1 minus f of a minus 1 is equal to 4 of 2 minus a is the answer okay thank you if f g and h are real functions given by f of x is equal to x square g of x is equal to tan x and h of x is equal to log x to the base e so then write the value of h circle g circle f of 5 f root of 5 f 4 so that is h circle g circle f of root of 5 by 4 can be taken as h circle g of f of root pi by 4 so which equals to h circle g of f of root pi by 4 that is root of pi by 4 whole square since f of x is equal to x square so which equals to h of g of pi by 4 so which is equal to h of g of pi by 4 so which equals to h of since g of x is equal to tan x so we can write g of pi by 4 is equal to we can write this as a tan pi by 4 since g of x is equal to tan x so which equals to h of tan pi by 4 is 1 so h of 1 is equal to 
is applying in the log h for h of x function log 1 to the base e since h of x is equal to log x to the base e and we know that log 1 to the base e is equal to 0 so we can just conclude that h circle g circle f of root of 5f for answer is 0 okay thank you write the domain and range of function given by f of x is equal to 1 upon root over x minus mod x and clearly this function f is defined defined for the values of x for the values of x in which the denominator under the root so x minus mod x must be positive that is x is greater than mod x or mod x is less than x okay but we know that from the definition of modulus function mod x is always greater than or equal to x for any real number for any x belongs to r mod x must be greater than or equal to r and here to define this function so our function f will be defined only when mod x is greater than x so which is not possible so we can conclude that it is not possible for any x belongs to r since the reason is here and therefore since the domain is empty so there is no real value which defines this function so domain is empty and so the range also will be empty so if in if input is empty so output also empty so we can just consider domain and range both are empty set okay thank you write the domain and range of f of x is equal to square root of x minus f x the greatest integer less than or equals to x square brackets of x and this function is defined f is defined for the values of x in which under root of the value that is x minus root x must be greater than or equals to 0 and since we know that we know that for any real value for any x belongs to r x minus the greatest integer which is less than or equals to x is always greater than or equals to 0 and and it is also less than x minus step x is also less than 1 so that is we can add x minus step x is lying between including 0 and 1 so anyhow it is positive so we can just consider that it is anyhow positive so therefore f is defined the given function f is defined for all real numbers for every x belongs to r we can say the given function is defined and then since x minus f step x is less lies between 0 and 1 including 0 then the square root of x minus step x square root of the value also lies between 0 and 1 it is positive so which is lies between 1 that is or f of x is lies between 0 and 1 including 0 therefore we can just consider the range of the function f is 0 comma 1 including 0 and open excluding 1 so the answer is closed 0 comma 1 is the range okay thank you write the domain and range of function given by f of x is equal to square root of step x minus x that is the greatest integer function greatest integer less than or equals to x which means that your step x will be the greatest integer which is less than or equal to x means it's very clearly we can say that it is less than or equals to the value of x 
that is step x minus x is always less than or equals to 0 for any real number. So from the definition it is very clear. And now f of x is equal to root over x minus step x minus x and if it is step x minus x less than or equals to 0 the root is not defined. So therefore f is defined f is defined only when the step x minus x must be equals to 0 for less than it is not possible so we can consider only step x minus x is equals to 0 and when this that implies that step x value is equal to the any value so that is x must belongs to any integer when x when x is in integer then only step x is equal to x like an example step of 3 is equal to 3 step of minus 3 is a is equal to minus 3 any real any integer you take you will get the same integer so step x is equal to x implies only when x is an integer so we can write the domain of the given function domain of the given function f is set of integers set of integers we can write and coming to the range when step x minus x is equal to 0 for all integers for x belongs to z which implies f of x is equal to root over step of x minus x is also equals to 0 means for any value of for any integer x belongs to z here we are getting f of x is also equals to 0 that implies that range of the given function f is a single element that is 0 so the domain is set of integers and the range is only single element 0 okay thank you let a and b be two sets such that a number of elements in the first set is p and number of elements in the second set b is equal to q write the number of functions from a to b suppose there are p elements so let me write those elements as in set a a1 a2 and so on some p elements are there a p elements are there and in set b there are some q elements let me take b1 b2 and so on some b q elements are there and we know that since each element of a each element in a has some q ways q possibilities are the b1 b2 and so on a1 can map to a1 can map to b1 or a2 can map to b2 or a1 can map to q1 so means each element in he uh, in a has q possibilities or q ways to map to map it in okay and then and also each such choice each such choice such way gives a unique because as per the definition of a function each and every element of a for every a belongs to a there exists a unique b belongs to b such that f of a is equal to b this is the definition of the function so each such choice will gives a unique possibility unique function we can say so that we have since there are p possibilities are there like a1 a2 and so on like a p so each will have some q possibilities here and a2 will have the q possibilities and and a p is also will have q possibilities that is q is multiplied how many times p times so q is multiplied here p times so we can say that the number of functions number of functions from a to b from a to b defined from a to b is equal to q to the power of p that is number of number of elements in set b to the power of number of elements in set q so we can give the answer q to the power of p okay that's the answer right thank you let f and g be two functions given by f is equal to 2 comma 4 
5 comma 6 8 comma minus 1 and 10 comma minus 3 and g is a function the mapping is given 2 comma 5 7 comma 1 8 comma 4 10 comma 13 and 11 comma minus 5 then the domain of the function f plus g since f is a function and g is a function f plus g is also a function f is a function g is a function the sum of two functions f plus g also a function with the domain so it's a domain of the function domain of f plus g will be taken as domain of f is intersection with domain of g so here we can write the domain of the function f is equal to the first element 2 5 8 this is 8 and 10 this is the domain of the function f and domain of the function g is equal to 2 7 8 10 and 11 and for to define the function f plus g the so domain of the function must be equals to domain of f in intersection with the domain of g so we can write domain of the function f plus g can be taken as the intersection of these two elements so what are the common elements 2 and 8 is a common and 10 is the common elements so we can write here 2 8 and 10 so the domain of f plus g can be taken as 2 comma 8 comma 10 okay All right thank you find the set of values of x for which function f of x is equal to 3x square minus 1 and g of x is equal to 3 plus x are equal so two functions are equal it's given and then we need to find the, the possible values of x so f of x is equal to g of x two functions are said to be equal if their domains must be equal so domain of f must be equals to the domain of g and also for any element for the domain so f of x must be equals to g of x then only we can say two functions are equal so if f of x is equal to g of x for all x belongs to the domain of f or domain of g so both are equal in your so we can consider 3x square minus 1 is equal to 3 plus x since it is given f of x is equal to 3x square minus 1 and g of x is equal to 3 plus x so we can also write this as 3x square minus x minus 1 minus 3 is equal to 0 or 3x square minus x minus 4 equals to 0 on factorization we can write 3x square minus 4x uh, there is a minus so so we can write minus 4 4x plus 3x minus 4 equals to 0 and so we can take out x common 3x minus 4 and again plus 1 times 3x minus 4 which is equals to 0 or else we can write x plus 1 into 3x minus 4 equals to 0 that is either x plus 1 equals to 0 or 3x minus 4 equals to 0 so we will have x is either x is equal to minus 1 or we can write x is equal to so let me write clearly so either we can take x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to 4 by 3 means for these two values for minus 1 and 4 by 3 the given functions are equal okay right, thank you let f and g be two real functions given by f is equal to 0 comma 1 2 comma 0 3 comma minus 4 and 4 comma 2 5 comma 1 and g is equal to 1 comma 0 
टू कमा टू थ्री कमा माइनस वन फोर कमा फोर एंड फाइव कमा थ्री देन फाइंड द डोमेन ऑफ द फंक्शन एफ इन टू जी सिंस एफ इज अ फंक्शन एंड जी इज अ फंक्शन the product of these two functions like fg is also a function and it is given like for any value x belongs to let me write that for x belongs to the domain of f intersection domain of g since the domain of the function f into g can be taken as a domain of f intersection domain of g so for this x value fg of x is equal to so we have fg of x is equal to f of x into g of x okay and let us find the domain of f and domain of g so domain of the function f is equal to so the first element we can write 0 2 3 4 and 5 and domain of the function second function g we can consider the first element 1 2 3 4 and 5 and the domain of fg function can be taken as domain of f intersection domain of g so that's nothing but intersection we can take out the common elements 2 is common and 3 is common 4 is also common 5 is also common so we can take the domain of fg function as 2 3 4 and 5 2 3 4 5 is the domain of the given function fg okay thank you